Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> I ain't messing with y'all. God bless y'all. All right, one day at a time, <laughs> little by little. Keep that in mind. Not everything going to be done for you at one time. All right? <laughs> you got to take the good with the bad, brother or sister, because you can't have one without the other. All right? <laughs> can't have ups without downs, fouls without free throws, daytime without nighttime. You experience this every 24 hours, 12 hours a day, 12 hours a night. <laughs> uh, sometimes things going to be sunny and smooth, and sometimes they're not. <laughs> I love how God got that set up. You can't. You can't have one without the other. Every 24 hours, you experience is 12 hours a day, 12 hours a night. <laughs> or it does. I know you just want to live in a bright time, in a sunny time, and live in perfect land. Everything's smooth and cakewalking. Then everything just perfect. <laughs> it don't work like that. <laughs> be a reason for the dark moments. God will allow dark moments to happen, to come over you, to be a part of, because it's a reason for them. You hear me? <laughs> I love the fact only stars shine at night. You hear me? <laughs> I love to go outside and look at the stars, man, at nighttime. They shine so beautiful in the darkness. You hear That's the only time you can see them. You hear You could be one of them stars shining so bright uh, in, the, in the darkest time of your life if you allow the process to do what God intends for it to do. You hear Most people run away from it. Ain't no shortcuts on, man. You can't run away from the things that God will put in your life to make you stronger, to grow. You hear me? Well, they don't want to do that. They just want to go to the gym and just sit around and look at other people. Go there for one or two minutes and just look around and think muscles just going to come pop up on you, whatever, and think stuff going to happen magically. It don't work like that, man. The Lord put you through something. He said himself, I'm going to put, uh, what did he say? He said this himself in Zechariah. Listen, he's going gonna to go through something. You're going to go through a dark time in your life. You're, whether you want to or not, you must. You're, there is no escaping this. Zechariah chapter 13. Uh, verse 8, the Lord said, in the whole land, on the whole earth, everyone on the whole earth, in the whole land, declares the Lord, two-thirds will be struck down and perish. Two-thirds of y'all not going to make it. Letting you know this now. One-third, though, whoever this one-third is, El Shindam Yet, one-third will be left in it. This third, I will put into the fire. Huh? God himself said, I'm going to put this third into the fire. I will retest them. I, listen, the Lord said, I will refine them like silver. <laughs> I will test them like gold. They will call on my name. They will, an whoo, they will call on my name and I will answer them. I will say they are my people and they will say the Lord is our God. <laughs> yeah. Listen, dark time. I love the fact David said, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil <laughs> for you with me. Your rod, your staff, they come for me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. This oil is a representation of the Holy Spirit. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Not some of them, all the days of my life. Why? Because David learned to trust in God <laughs> in the darkest time of his life. You heard me? He a star shining ever so bright. <laughs> You're for all to see it, you hear me? I have confidence you'll be too. I am. Hang on to God. And once you learn to walk with the Lord, trust in him, in the darkest moment of your life, you can close the book. Because you're right there where he wants you to be at. And stay right there. Don't never forget it. Don't never forget trusting in the Lord, hanging on to him. Most people forget. That they just do it on their own. Nah, don't never forget once you're in the darkest time of your life, walking in the valley with him. Don't never forget that. Stay right there. You hear me? For the rest of your life. Trust, even when you're up on the hill, remember that valley time. Always stay humble in that valley time moment. You hear me? You're going to shine, baby, like a star, ever so bright in the darkest moment of your life. You hear me? I have confidence you will be. Okay. You just keep on breathing. Inhale and exhale. All right. You're going to be all right. All glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to who is due. Amen. Whatever today is. Saturday, November 25, 4.30 a.m., 2023. It is early. <laughs> I love to be up while everyone else is asleep. Uh -huh. If you ain't got you one of these, you should have got you one to read. <laughs> you got to wait till I get some more. I gave all mine out. I'm holding on to, I'm holding on to my last <laughs> nice book called Knowledge from God Almighty, uh, Volume 1. My son, brother named Devontae Farmer. <laughs> nice book. Nice name. <laughs>
Uh, word up. Hey, some people brought my book in Germany. <laughs> word up. That's great. I think that's pretty cool. Nice book, nice name. Uh, word. Uh, yeah, but don't know book replace the Bible. Here, guarantee you that. Whatever everything you need, can need, and will need is found in God's word and in God's word alone. Yeah. You You're never gonna get step two until you take step one. Step one, taking God at his word. Yeah, I'm telling you. If there's any truth to any books, they're gonna point you to the Bible. You hear me? I love to read the Holy Quran. That is the word of God. It lines up with it. They point you to the Bible. Yeah. I'm telling you, if there's any truth in any book, they're gonna point you to the Bible. A few other books I like to read. Pastor Chuck wrote a few good books. They point you to the Bible. Yeah, I'm telling you. If there's any truth to any books, they're gonna point you to the Bible. Alright? So with that being with that in mind, if you don't got a Bible, I highly advise you to get you one of those. Okay, and don't just get if you're a new if you're a new reader, get an NIV version. All versions of the Bible are good. It's, it's like over hundred different versions. The ESV, the N, the New Living Translation, the BSB, uh, the American the American version, uh, the King James version, New King James version. Uh, where this is like where it's a lot of versions, but and all of them are the Word of God. You know what I mean? They they. Word. If you're a new reader, my advice to you would be to get an NIV, okay? A new international version. It's more easy for you to read. That's my advice for you. You ain't got to take it. <laughs> but that I would listen, listen to my advice and word, get the NIV, okay? Don't just read the Bible, but do what it says. <laughs> you hear me? Word. Don't just listen to people talk and, listen and read. Do what the Word telling you to do. <laughs> Anyone who actually take the words of God and actually put them into practice, you'll be blessed in what you do. You hear me? If you know word. Most people just listen and just read, but they're not doing what God asked them to do. Jesus said, why you call me Lord and not doing what I'm telling you? <laughs> you're defeating everything that you're being shown and listening to. <laughs> where you being crazy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Jesus said, I'll show you what the man like who take my words and put them into practice. Where you see that at? Go to Matthew. Listen. Matthew chapter 7. Verse 24, Jesus said, therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and put them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Uh, the rain came down, the streams rose, the wind blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall because because it had its foundation on the rock. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, take God's word, put them into practice. He's like digging down deep, baby. I'm telling you. All right. Well, I'm going to. Okay, uh, yeah, so don't just get a Bible, but read it, do it to say, okay? All right, second thing, nobody perfect, all right? There's only one person who was perfect and walked this earth perfectly. His name was Jesus Christ of Nazareth, born of a virgin, mother's name Mary, unless that's you, which I highly doubt, brother says, you're not perfect, okay? God ain't crazy to be perfect, okay? But I love the fact, if you know who God is, if you know who Jesus Christ is, and if you have the Holy Spirit, you're going to want to strive to be the best you can be because you're made in the image of God. You're, you're going to want to be just like your father. You're going to want to be just like your Lord. You're gonna, I'm telling you, because you, he made you to rule, to have dominion over things, not to be ruled by things, not, to, not for things to have dominion over you. You see what I'm saying? He made you special to be powerful. You're going to want to be just like your father, just like your just like the, your Lord. You're, you ain't going to want to be down in the dump Selling for less, doing this and doing that, just high and drunk all day, having sex all day, thinking about making money all day, doing worldly stuff. Nah, you're gonna want to be the best you could be. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna end up, you're gonna start to resemble your father. You're gonna start to resemble your Lord. You hear me? I'm telling you. But nevertheless, it's a, it's a process, okay? You don't get everything on, the Lord gonna do everything for you on one day. You hear me? Little by little. Keep that in mind. Not everything gonna be done for you at one time. You see what I'm saying? Listen, I love the fact that it's a struggle, man. God know, uh we got faults and we got errors. You know what I mean? I need help. I, I don't, I'm not perfect. There's nobody on the earth perfect. I, I need help as much as the next man, each and every single day, every hour of the day, every millisecond of the day. <laughs> From the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep, you hear me? I'm always asking the Lord to help me to get through the day, help me with this and help me with that. I ain't got all the gap. I'm only 29 years old, you hear me? But that's no excuse to just be any type of way. People make excuses and just to be any type of way, do what they want to do. Nah, God don't work like that. You don't want to make get caught making excuses, you hear me? But listen to me. Nobody perfect. <laughs> I love the fact uh, that Jesus shed his precious blood for you and me to receive our faith each and every single day. Everything we failed at yesterday, today, and tomorrow, his, his blood covered all, baby. You hear? Don't make excuse to be down, though. 
you covered by the blood, you just keep on getting up on your big boy pants on, big girl pants on, and keep on moving, pressing forward, and move towards the goal. You hear it? But listen, you're going to fall short of the glory of God each and every single day. I do. If I don't do something, I thought about doing something. You hear <laughs> All the time. You see what I'm saying? I'm not all, I'm not 100% right, okay? I know this. <laughs> well, anyway, God ain't looking for perfection, but devotion. You hear Your worst day with God is as good as your best day if you're truly devoted to him. You hear <laughs> Word. I like what Stephen A. say. The best ability is availability. You hear me? Most people, that, that's he talking about sports, but that's what God looking for. People who truly make themselves available from the heart. Many people don't do this and wonder why they don't experience no change. They go to they go to church for one year, five years, 10 years, 15 years, and still doing the same thing they was doing the very first day they walked in. <laughs> if you haven't grown up none yet at all, something's very wrong. You see what I'm saying? You're doing something wrong. <laughs> You're not being truthful and honest with God. God is a spirit. John chapter 4, verse 24. Those who worship must worship in spirit and in truth. You hear me? That's what Jesus said. <laughs> Those are the type of worshipers that the Father seeks. People who being honest and truthful with the Lord. You hear me? Most people not doing this. They, just, they put the smell good on. They dress up. They act like they don't got no problem. They go to the church with their head all up and got the coffee and everything nice. They come in, they clap, praise the Lord, thank God, and go home. And then they doing right. They doing the exact same thing they doing before they walked in. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They they lie to themselves. <laughs> they deceiving themselves. You see what I'm saying? Jesus say it is it is billions of people <laughs> who go to church every week to the synagogue and to the mosque. Every week, Jesus said, these people worship me with their mouths. They love to talk about me, but their hearts are far from me. Where you see that at, Devonta? Go to Matthew 15. <laughs> Word. People wonder why they don't experience no change. They play with God. God is not something to play with. Matthew 15, verse 8. Jesus said, these, Jesus said verse 7. Jesus said, you hypocrites. Jesus going, Jesus be going off on a whole lot of people. <laughs> people think I go off sometimes. <laughs> Wait till Jesus speaks to you face to face. <laughs> Jesus said, Matthew chapter 15, get your Bible. Verse 7, you hypocrites. Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. These people honor me with their mouths, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. A whole lot of people worshiping God in vain. They worshiping the Lord the way they want to worship. Not, in, not his will being done, but they will being done. They playing with God and wonder why they don't get no change. You worshiping God in vain. That's why you're not getting no change. Read your Bible. Jesus said, these people honor me with their lips. They love to talk about me. They love to say, Jesus is my Lord. Jesus say, why you call me Lord, but you ain't doing what I'm telling you? You lying. How am I your Lord? You ain't listening to me. You ain't doing what I'm telling you to do. You're lying. You're lying. You've been a hypocrite. Do what I tell you. Then you then I will be your Lord. Jesus say, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachers are merely human rules. Word. Rule for this, rule for that. Don't do this, don't do that. People crazy. Listen. But let me tell you this, Doug. I don't care if you strung out on drugs, strung out on alcohol, if you gay, straight, crooked, if you strung out on porn, whatever you strung out on, because everybody strung out on something. Listen to me. You want to experience a change in your life? You want God to work in your life? The best ability is availability. Make yourself available. You take one little small step and be truthful and honest with God. Truly. Be truthful and honest with the Lord. He, he know all about you anyway. <laughs> he know what you're doing from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. He know what you're here for. He know if you're playing with him, fun or fashion, or just want to be seen, just want to be light, just want to do this and that. <laughs> he don't care about the BS. He wants you to be truthful and honest with him. I don't care what you strung out on. If you be truthful and honest with God, <laughs> and make if you got faith as small as a mustard seed, just a little bit. Can you see that? Just, just a little bit. <laughs> My fingers ain't even open. Just a little. If you got faith this big, just a little bit. <laughs> and make yourself available before the Lord. He'll take you and stand you up straight. He'll clean you up from the inside out and make you to be the man of God or the woman of God. He designed you to be, created you to be. You hear me? He ain't going to do everything for you at one time, little by little. Keep that in mind. You hear me? I'm telling you this. You just keep on making yourself available before the Lord. Sit down at his feet. Sit down at the feet of God like Mary did and take in his word day by day. Be, make, keep on making yourself available day by day and watch what he do for you. God bless anybody who think they, who think they got him more than Paul. Hmm? Paul wrote two thirds of the New Testament. Romans chapter seven, Paul said the things I want to do, I don't do. The things I don't want to do, I keep on doing. He ain't making no excuses now. He ain't just living his life in a type of way. Read the next verse. The next verse, Paul said the things I want to do, I don't do. The things I don't want to do, I keep on doing. But in my inner being, in his heart now, I delight in God's law. That is the key right there. He keep on making himself available for the Lord. He keep on making himself available. He let God's word rule in his heart. And when you put, and, and Psalms, Psalms 34, uh, is it 34 verse 7 or, or 37 verse 4? Give it to me, Lord. I, I'm, I know I'm on the right track. <laughs> yeah. Psalms 37 verse 4, I believe. Listen. 
Because that's it right there. You keep on taking God this word. Psalm 37 verse 4 say, take the light in the Lord and he will give you desire. Psalm 37 verse 4 say, take the light in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart to want to, 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 want to please him, to want to, to want to be obedient to him, to want his will to be done. You keep on taking the light in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart to do what he wants to, for you to move in, in his way. You see what I'm saying? It's a struggle now. I told you God bless anybody who got more than Paul. Mm -hmm. Paul said things I want to do, I don't. Things I don't want to do, I keep on doing. But in my inner being, I delight in God's law. That's the key right there. He keep on making himself available. <laughs> and let God's word rule in his heart. <laughs> and look what God did for him. He wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. <laughs> God blessed him with a wisdom unlike no other can, 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 can match. Many, many people don't understand, Paul. You hear him? God ain't looking for perfection, but devotion. He just wants you to be truthful and honest with him. That's it. And, and you take you make that one little small step, he'll split the seat for you to walk right on through it. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to be looking like, how's this happening? How's this going on? Because you're being truthful and honest with God, and you're making yourself available. You're not being a hypocrite. <laughs> God going to take you and use you and work with you. He's going to show you things that no, that, that no man can reveal to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you this. <laughs> take it from me, as you can see. <laughs> Look. <laughs> third thing. It ain't no third thing. Uh, if you're watching on my Facebook channel, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, download the videos. Type in my name, Devontae Farmer. Some uh, type in my name, Devontae Farmer. Bible teaching and it should pop up. <laughs> All right, the whole type in the whole thing. It should pop up. Devontae Farmer Bible teaching. It should pop up. All right, <laughs> some dude holding the Bible should pop up. Like, share, and subscribe, and download the videos because I don't know how long they're gonna keep me up here. You know what I mean? I'll be going off sometime. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It'd be very smart for you to download and record them. You ain't got to wait till Sunday to get a word of God from somebody. <laughs> I give you, I got over a year's worth of stuff. But whoever really take my videos and use them and actually do what I'm saying, psh, you'll be blessed in what you do. If you're not just listening to me, I ain't asking you for none of this. No morning offering, no evening offering, no after evening offering, no Sunday school offering, and whatever other offering they got, y'all need your money. <laughs> I never asked y'all for one dollar. <laughs> not one time. I don't need nobody to help me. God been helping me. Not one time. Nobody's, I got, not one time. Nobody's ever pushed me to do this or do that. Why are you doing it then, Devontae? I've been kind of in my heart. Not many people can say that. <laughs> not many people can say, I do this and don't get paid to do it. My payment is someone to receive the word of the Lord. <laughs> to know that one person, at least one person, receiving God's word. To know that I led one person to Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's like diamonds to me, babe. It's like a hundred billion diamonds to me, yeah? I know it's like to have money. I have had a whole lot of money in my life. I had, I had money. I had money y'all ain't gonna get to have. You see, I never, I ain't gonna say I've been rich or whatever, but I know it's like to have money. I've been places y'all didn't get to go before my 22nd. I'm 29. I'm 29. I've been different places around the USA that y'all ain't gonna get to go to by myself before my 22nd birthday. By myself. You see what I'm saying? I, I know it's like to move and have this and have that. That stuff don't mean nothing to me. I had two friends to ask me, bro, what you want? Uh, I'm looking, uh, what you mean? Long as my great grandma was okay and my two little brothers was all the time, I couldn't ask so much, man. My family mean a lot to me. You see what I'm saying? God mean more to me, but look, the little things make me happy. You see what I'm saying? Having money don't make me happy. Having females don't make me happy. Having a car, clothes, and this and that don't make me happy. Knowing my people okay, that, that gives me joy and comfort. You see what I'm saying? Those are things I can't put a price on. You can put a price on anything else. All right. But, uh,. <clears throat> I'm telling you, man. I don't need your money. All right. God, God don't need your money. You see what I'm saying? I just want someone. He just want. He just want your heart. That's it. If you're watching my YouTube channel, I got some videos on Facebook that you'll be interested to go get off of there. Uh, now I wasn't able. To, I want. I wasn't able to put all of them on my YouTube channel at one time because my one of my phones was off. You see what I'm saying? So it'd be very smart for you to get the videos off my Facebook channel. Uh, type in my name, Devonte Farmer. Go look me up. Find me on Facebook or something. I got videos on my channel. Just download and record them. Download all of them, man. That'd be very smart for you to do. I'm not asking you for no none of this. No morning offer, no evening offer, no after evening offer, and whatever I, I offer they got for you. Y'all going to the church. As soon as you walk in, they hit you with the offer. You can't even think straight. You think about giving your money up. You think about food now. You can't even think straight. They got you. <laughs> right, uh, but I don't, need, I don't need a dollar from nobody. God been taking care of me, providing for me. Yeah, and I thank God for that. So with that, with that, in, with that in mind, hey, I'll tell y'all this. I had uh, two dreams last night, man. Well, I had one dream last night. I had another dream the other night. <laughs> I don't use, I never use, you don't say nothing about my dreams. But one of my dreams, I ain't smoking no weed in like a month. You hear me? If anybody know me, they know I, I blow. I, I used to smoke more than whiskey. You see what I'm saying? I, 
Until like last month, I, I be I still was smoking. You see what I'm saying? That's me being honest with y'all. I don't smoke on here, but I don't mind. I don't mind being honest with y'all. Like I told, I tell you all the time, I have a smoking problem sometimes. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. I ain't mess with nobody this or that, but hmm, I still will smoke sometimes. You see what I'm saying? I still got some cigarettes and stuff. I'm gonna I'm let those go. That's uh, more, but you see what I'm saying? But I ain't getting high no more. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Even I'm telling you, listen to me. I ain't smoking a weed like a month, man. Word. I feel good. <clears throat> uh, ain't nothing wrong with it, but I, I, I love being natural high. Like, where? I love natural high. I love, I love the fact. <laughs> I, I love it so much the way I feel. You see what I'm saying? Like, where? But <laughs> I ain't smoking no weed like a month. <laughs> and I love it. You hear me? I, and one of my dreams, one of my my cousin tried to, you know, and, and you listen to me. I'm going to tell you this. I woke up laughing from like three nights ago. Listen. <laughs> listen, because people come around, I got some friends that try to want to smoke with me. You know what I mean? I ain't smoking. Listen to me. Even in my dreams, one of my friends tried to pass me the L. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm good. Even in my dreams, it ain't happening, my boy. You hear me? If I can, if I can say no in my dreams, Cause you know in your dreams you do what you want to do. I'm telling you, you know, you know for a fact. Cause you know, I'm telling you. <laughs> Even in my dreams, I turn it down, my boy. You hear me? So if I can do it in my dreams, real life ain't got nothing. Are you hear what I'm saying? Cause in your dreams, you can do what you want to do. <laughs> Word, and you you can be yourself a certain way. I'm just saying. <laughs> Even in my dreams, I'm turning it down. You hear me? <laughs> they not messing with me in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a dream about my great grandma last night. <laughs> like that, it's it's crazy, but I love it because I don't I, usually, I don't dream about my great grandma like that. But <laughs> I, the dream was was excellent. She was stuck in a room, but she she was it's like she came back to life, but then she had to die again. But she's like, I'm ready to go, Vante. I I already been already. <laughs> she said, I already been. I'm ready to get up out of here. I, I know where she at. <laughs> where I'm telling, I can't explain to y'all like I want. <laughs> That joke was crazy, man. But where I know my great grandma up in heaven. <laughs> and the dream, the dream was so crazy, but it's so real. Like she she came back, but she was still sick. You know what I mean? But she was like, she ready to go. Uh, she said, she said, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it was it's crazy, but where I just had to say that. But <laughs> where my grandma's laughing. <laughs> she was like, I'm ready to go. I already been already. I gotta get back out of here. I don't know why I'm back here. I gotta get back out. I gotta get back out right from here. That's what she said. I was like, yeah, I live. God bless that woman. I miss her so much. All right, I'm just dive in where I'm going to. All right. Yeah, them two little dreams I hit. <clears throat> All right, bear with me. Where am I going to? Where am I going to? Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. I'm going to call it. God, God will give you a talent, a gift, but that does not mean you are saved. Listen to me, listen to me closely. God will give you a talent, a gift, but that does not mean you are saved yet. You must believe in God and have saving faith that follows by deeds. Uh, proven, proven that your faith is in action. James chapter 2, James chapter 2, go to verse 18. A lot of people believe in God. <laughs> that just shows you're not an idiot. <laughs> if you believe in the Lord, uh, many demons believe in God. <laughs> that just shows you're not an idiot. <laughs> To, to believe is one thing. You must have saving faith with your actions. <laughs> faith without works is dead. Just like the body the body without the spirit is dead. Your faith must line up with your actions. <laughs> Anybody can say, I believe in God, and they thank God real. Anyone can say, I believe in Jesus and Jesus Lord. <laughs> your faith must line up with your actions. Because <laughs> you could be saying one thing, but your actions are saying a whole different other thing. <laughs> Showing that you are a hypocrite. You are a liar. Your faith must line up with your actions. <laughs> Anybody can say, it is so many people go to church. <laughs> Billions, they believe in God. Good. That that just shows that they're not idiots. The fool says in his heart there is no God. Okay? People who don't believe in God is just fools. But if you believe in God, that just shows you're not an idiot. <laughs> that don't mean you're saved. Listen, there's a big difference now. A fool don't believe in God. That's what Psalms say. Psalm, six, Psalm 16 and Psalm 36. One of them. <laughs> Where is that? 16. Yeah. Psalms 14. Psalms 14 in your Bible. Psalms 14, verse 1 say, Brother David wrote, The fool says in his heart, There is no God. Okay? <laughs> Go to James. <laughs> if you believe in God, that just show you're not an idiot. <laughs> that don't mean you say that. You must have saving faith. Faith with works. The body without the spirit is dead. Faith without works is dead. <laughs> if you got faith with no works, you got dead faith. Yo, you ain't got saving faith. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Big difference now. Wait, very big difference. 
No worries. <laughs> okay. James chapter 2, <clears throat> verse 18, Brother James wrote, Someone will say, you have faith. I have deeds. Show me, show me your faith without deeds. <laughs> Word. Show me your faith without. That's what he's saying. If you got real faith, show me, show me, show me faith without deeds. <laughs> it's impossible to say I believe in God, but you ain't doing nothing for God. Do you? Did that make? Did that? Do that not make sense to you? <laughs> I ain't talking about just being watching videos and liking and commenting and just going to church showing up. <laughs> no, 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 no. You serve God outside of church. I do more work. I I, I do more stuff off of here. Y'all don't y'all don't even y'all listen to me. Y'all don't see a quarter of the stuff that I do in real life. <laughs> okay? Oh, this, these videos, they cool, but you don't see a quarter of the stuff that I do in real life. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I go out and talk to people. At work, when I was working, I do stuff all the time. I go holler at people. I go talk to people. You hear me? <laughs> Jesus said, go out and make disciples of people. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I ain't just at home. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. But listen to me. <laughs> And we just got to say you got faith, but ain't doing nothing. <laughs> you lying to yourself. Listen, someone will say you have faith. I have deeds. Show me faith. Show me your faith without deeds. <laughs> and I will show you my faith by my deeds. You believe there is one God. Good. Get your Bible. James chapter 2. <laughs> Listen, James chapter 2, verse 19. Brother James wrote, you believe that there is one God. Good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. <laughs> that should show you not an idiot. If you don't believe in God, that means you're a fool. Hmm. That's what that means if you don't believe in God. That means you're a fool. If you believe in God, that just shows you're not an idiot. Hmm. Okay? Hmm. Word. Big difference now. If you don't believe, it means you're a fool. If you do believe God is this, good. That just shows that you're not an idiot. Hmm. That don't mean you're saved, though. You, your faith, you must have saving faith. Okay? Hmm. Listen to me now. Faith without works is dead. If you just got, If you just got faith... But don't got works. You got dead faith. Hmm. Your faith is going to lead you nowhere. Hmm. You just believe that you don't have saving faith. Big difference. Hmm. They never told you this. You better take it in there while, while the brother telling you. <laughs> Listen to me. James chapter 2, verse 19. You believe that there is one God. Good. Hmm. Even demons believe that. And shut up. Hmm. You foolish person. Do you, do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless? Listen to me now. Listen, listen to brother James. You foolish person. Do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless? Hmm. Was not our father Abraham considered righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see that his faith and his actions were working together. Um, yo, you must, your faith, you must have faith with works. If you got true faith, you're going to be doing something for God. You ain't just going to be saying, I believe, but not doing nothing. Hmm. It's impossible. Many people go to church. Business people go to church. They, they sit in the church. They sing the songs of God, this and that. Praise the Lord, whatever. When they get home, what they doing? They're not doing nothing. They're being more worthy than the people. They were. They're not doing nothing. Just riding around in your little car. Going, doing dumb stuff. You just say, they're, not doing, they're not doing nothing for God at all. They just say they believe. They don't have saving faith. Letting you know this now. Listen. You foolish person. Do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless? <laughs> Was not our father Abraham considered righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see, that his faith and his actions were working together, and his faith was made complete by what he did. <laughs> and the scripture was and the scripture was fulfilled that says Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called God's friend. <clears throat> you see, that a person is considered righteous by what they do and not by faith alone. <laughs> In the same way, was not even Rahab the prostitute considered righteous for what she did when she gave lodging into the spies and sent them off in a different direction as the body without the spirit is dead. So faith without deeds is dead, you see? <laughs> right up, 100% right there. All right? Listen, believing in God, <clears throat> believing in God does not mean you are saved. Yet, it shows you're not an idiot. <laughs> okay? <laughs> You must believe and have saving faith. Faith without works is dead. Dead faith does not save you. Okay? Luke chapter 19, verse 11 through 27. All right, I'm show you the difference. Listen, I told you, God will get people tired. It's a gift. I don't mean you say that. You must put your faith in the action. God will do something for you. He'll open your mind. Open, get here. He'll show you something. I'm telling you, listen to me. Luke chapter 19. Uh, Luke chapter 19. Verse 11 through 27. Yeah. Luke chapter 19, verse 11 through 27. Say, Jesus told a parable. The parable of the 10 minutes. 
All right. Luke chapter 19, verse 11 said, while they were listening to this, Jesus went on to tell them a parable because he was near Jerusalem and the people uh, thought that the kingdom of God was going to appear at once. <laughs> he said, listen, Jesus said, a man of noble birth went to a distant country to have himself appointed king, to have himself appointed king. I like that. A man of noble birth went to a distant distant country to have himself appointed king and then to return. So he called 10 of his servants. All right. So he called 10 of his servants and gave them 10 minutes. Put this money to work, he said, until I come back. But the subjects, but the subjects hated him and sent a delegation after him to say, we don't want this man to be our king. He was made king, however, and, he, and returned home. Then he sent for the servants to whom he had given the money in order to find out what they had gained with it. Listen, the first one came and said, sir, your men has earned 10 more. Well done, my good servant, his master replied, because you have been trustworthy in a very, in a very small matter, take charge of 10 cities. The second came and said, sir, your men has earned five more. His master replied, you take charge of five cities. Then another servant came and said, Sir, here's your manna. I have kept it and laid it and laid it away. I have kept it laid away in a piece of cloth. <laughs> the king, these menace, uh, these menace is talents. Okay? <laughs> Listen, they talents. The first one took his <laughs> and gained ten more. Alright? He had saving faith. God gave him a gift, a talent, a manna. <laughs> He took it and made 10 more. These minutes represent people. All right. Listen to me. God, God gave, he gave him three people talents, minutes. Okay. The first one took his and gained 10 more. He had saving faith. He went out ahead. He had 10 people come with him. You see what I'm saying? He earned 10 more. These 10 is people. Okay. Listen. The master said, well done. Uh, listen, because you've been trustworthy in, in small matter, take charge of 10 cities. The second one came. Sir, your minute has earned five more. The second one took his gift and earned five more. He earned, he won five people. Okay? Listen. <laughs> then another servant came and said, Sir, here's your minute. The talent. God gave this one a talent too. What would he do with it? He kept it for himself and laid it away in a piece of cloth. He didn't do nothing with it. God gave him a talent a minute. He didn't do nothing. I was afraid of you because you are a hard man. You take you take out what you did not put in and reap what you did not what you did not sow. His master replied, "I will judge you by your own words, you wicked servant. You knew, you knew, did you, that I'm a hard man, taking out what I did not put in and reaping what I did not sow. Why then didn't you put my money on deposit so that when I came back, I I could have collected with, I could have collected it with interest." Then he said to those standing by, take, take his minute away from him and give it to the one who has 10 minutes. Sir, they said, he already has 10. Jesus replied, I tell you that to everyone who has, more will be given. Word up. To everyone who has, more will be given. Uh, but as for the one who has nothing, even what they have will be taken away. <laughs> but those enemies of mine, but those enemies of mine who did not want me to be king over them, Bring them here and kill them in front of me. That's how it's gonna be for people who God listen. They don't want they don't want you to be king over them. You hear me? Listen to me again. Again, he took the one talent from that dude. and that dude, that one dude, that one dude uh, who had one talent, he's not saved. He tossed out to the king. Okay, read another one, Vontae. Sure. Matthew 25, verse 20, uh, verse 14. Go to Matthew 25. God will give you a gift or a talent. That don't mean you save. You must have saving faith. <laughs> Where that? God will do some spe God will do some special for people. He'll give you a gift. <laughs> give you a talent. But what are you doing with it? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Where? Listen to me. Don't ever forget this. 
Matthew 24, Matthew 25, verse 14. <clears throat> the title say the parable of the bands of gold. It's a similar story. <laughs> Matthew 25, verse 14, the parable of the bands of gold. Jesus said again, it will be like a it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants to who, who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one, he gave five bags of gold. All right, listen. To one, he gave five bags of gold. To another, two bags. And to another, one bag. Each according to his ability. The best ability is what? Availability. You hear me? Listen to him. God love people make themselves available. Listen. To one, he gave five bags of gold. To another, two bags. And to another, one bag. Each according to his ability. <laughs> then he went up, then he went on his journey. The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five more bags. You hear me? The money is got the money here, all money ain't silver and gold. What did Peter say? <laughs> there was a man who it was a man one day, a man begging. Listen, I love the words of Peter. <laughs> yeah. Where is it? Acts chapter 1. Where is that? It's right here. Acts chapter 2. I know it's right here. It was a blind man. Yeah. <laughs> Acts chapter 3. Act, get your Bible. Acts chapter All money ain't silver and gold. You hear me? God, this money is a gift. It's a talent. God giving people talents and gifts. You hear me? Money from God. A talent. Truth. Truly, listen. <laughs> Acts chapter three, verse one. Say one day Peter and John were going up to the temple to, to the temple at the time of prayer at three in the afternoon. Now a man was lame. Now a man who was lame from birth was was being carried to the temple called Beautiful, where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple courts. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. <laughs> Listen, he asked them for money. <laughs> When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Peter looked straight at him. Peter got something for him. It ain't silver and gold, though. Peter looked straight at him. As did John. Then Peter said, look at us. So the man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. It's the man looked, Peter, Peter and John got his attention. He, the man expecting to get something from them. Then Peter said, silver and gold, I do not have. But what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. <laughs> All right. Taking him by the right hand, he helped him. And instantly the man's feet, whoo, and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. <laughs> he jumped to his feet and began to walk. And then he went out to, and then he went, and then he went into, whoo, then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw this walking, when all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the same man who used, who used to sit begging at the temple gate called Beautiful. And they were filled with awe. Uh, and they were filled with, with wonder and amazement at what happened to him. All money ain't silver and gold. You see? Peter said, silver and gold I don't have. But what I do have, he had something better than money, baby. You hear me? He said, what I do have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. The man was a, he, he was a beggar. He was lame. It say Peter Hill's a lame beggar. He was lame. He couldn't walk. He was paralyzed. He was looking for money. Peter gave him something way better than money, baby. You hear me? <laughs> yeah. This bag of gold. The money that the king is leaving his talents, leaving his service. And it ain't just money. It's a gift from God. The same thing Peter just now was able to do. He said, silver and gold I don't have. What I do have, I give to you. Some way better than money. <laughs> These, the, the, listen to the, listen to them. The, the, the talents, uh, the bags of money ain't just regular gold. You hear me? They gifts from God, all right? <laughs> listen to me. <clears throat> I'm going to read the story again for you. Again, it would be like a man going on a journey who called his service, Matthew 25, verse 14, who called his service and entrusted his wealth to them. All right. To one, he gave five bags of gold. To another, two bags. And to one, one bag. The same regular money now. All right. Each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. 
the man who had received five bags of gold went out and at once put his money to work and gained five more. You hear me? He, he, he took the gift God gave him and gained, and gained five more. God gave him five gifts. He took he took his and gained five more. All right? <laughs> Listen, God will give you a gift. You ain't saved because you just got a gift. Is what you're doing. Is you putting your faith in the practice? Is, you, is your faith lining up with the works? Because if you got saving faith, you're going to be doing this right here. Everything God give you. Don't matter if it's one thing, two things, or five things. You don't need a lot. If God give you something to use, you're going to be going to put what he use. You gonna, I'm telling you this, man. God will be nice. God is a good God. He'll bless you and give you a gift, a talent. Something something only he can. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> Many people, God will give you a gift or a talent to put the work and to go, get, to go bring others into the kingdom. Okay? Listen. The man who had received five bags of gold went out, went at once, and put his money to work. <laughs> he went out. He, look, as soon as he got, as soon as God gave it, he went out. As soon as God gave you a gift, and you got saving faith, and you truly believe, you ain't just a believer, but you got saving faith. It's, it's a big difference between believing in God. Anyone can believe in God, but not but not be doing nothing. <laughs> as many people, Jesus says, many people <laughs> who just believe, but they not they don't got saving faith because they're not doing nothing. If you truly believe and got saving faith, your faith will line up with your actions. You're going to be doing something. As soon as this man got his, he went up and went out. Read the words. Read the words, man. Listen. The man who had received five beds of gold went at once. He didn't wait till tomorrow. He didn't wait till the three days. He didn't wait from a year from now. Not three years from now. Not five years from now. Not ten years from now. At once. Read the words of God. Yeah. The man who had received five beds of gold went at once. And put his money to, to, to work and gain five more. El Shindamarnaya. So also, the one with two bags of gold gained two more. Yeah. So also, the one with two bags of gold, he went out at once and gained two more. All right. But the man who had received one bag went off and dug a hole. He went off and dug a hole in the ground. And he, had his, and he had his master's money. A lot of people hide on what God gave them. They're not doing it. It's just for me. This how, this how, listen, this how the hypocrites will be. This how the wicked people going to be. God blessed them. He gave them a gift, but they're not doing nothing with it. they just taking it and hitting. They think, just because I'm saved, I ain't got to talk to nobody. Hmm. Listen to me. I was talking to some people at the center one day, to some young brothers. I, had, I said, I told them, I said, I see y'all all the time, man. I said, y'all forgive me if I, if, if I said, y'all got to forgive me. <laughs> they, they didn't know what I was talking about because I know these young brothers. I don't see them every day. You know what I mean? I see them at the center on Sunday sometimes, all right? I said, y'all got to forgive me, man, because I got to say something to y'all. You hear me? I said, because I can't just sit right here and act like I don't know what I know. You see what I'm saying? Because if, if we all die day tomorrow and, and y'all see me go to heaven, and then y'all look at me and be like, how come you were so close to us and they never say nothing, bro? <laughs> God, I cut me to my heart. I was cut to my heart that day. I said, I got to tell these people. I got to tell these people. Because y'all might not get a chance tomorrow. Damn, I got to tell you today. Because it's impossible for me to know what I know, to know who God is, to know who Jesus Christ is, and to have the Holy Spirit. And I tell these people. Y'all so close to someone who knows so much. And me not say nothing. God, God would not like that. I know he don't like that. That's why God say something. They looked at me like I was crazy. But I had some I had some of their attention. It was a big group of them. Nice little group of them. I had I called them after their basketball game. I ain't want to catch them before because they think about the basketball. So I called them when they was sad. <laughs> Word up. I called them after, after their little basketball game, man. I told them. I said, I said, I'm telling y'all. I said, y'all, you gotta die one day. <laughs> y'all need to know who God is and get saved. I'm telling you. I told I told these people. You hear me? Because I see them, I see them all the time on Sunday. You know what I mean? I go down and watch them play ball or whatever. So I got to tell them. I got to tell them. Watch them, watch them. I got to tell them. You see what I'm saying? Because it will be wrong if I was to die day tomorrow and see all these brothers right here and never say a word to them. Never say one word to them. I know who God is. I know who Jesus is. I got the Holy Spirit, but I never say one word to them. That would be dead wrong for me. You hear me? My heart was cut. I said, I got to say something to him. I ain't afraid or embarrassed. You know how it is when you got to say something, you feel embarrassed or afraid. It don't matter. You got you to speak the words of God. God give you to speak. You hear me? If, 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 you, truly, if you truly got it. A lot of people, they, they're afraid. They're not, they're not going to say nothing. You hear me? I said, I can't let these young brothers be so close to me. And, they, and, I, I, and I speak to them. 
I'm supposed to be cool with them. They're supposed to be my friends. You see what I'm saying? And I don't, and I don't, and I don't say nothing about God to them. <laughs> I, I'm just because I'm saved. I can't think most people think just because they saved they don't got to say nothing to nobody else. If they die there tomorrow, they happy, they good. They're not worried about nobody else. I got a heart. I know these young brothers not saved. If they die there tomorrow, they're going to hell. You see what I'm saying? And I'm so close to them. I'm right here on the same. I'm right here on the same ground as them. I have, I got the words of God in my heart. You hear me? And if I don't say nothing to them, God will not like that. You see what I'm saying? So I had to tell him. I told him too. <laughs> yeah. But listen, many people do what this one man do. God will give them a gift or a talent and don't do nothing with it. <laughs> they think because I'm saved, they know who God is or whatever. <laughs> they ain't got to do nothing for nobody. It don't work like that. <laughs> Why do you think I'm on here every day? <laughs> I don't got thousands of likes or whatever. Sometimes on, on, on some of my best videos, it might be like 10 views. And for whatever them 10 views is, I'm telling you, I, I don't try to, I don't like to keep tagging people with that. But you see what I'm saying? I don't really like to do that. You see what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, some, some of my best videos might got like 10 views. You see what I'm saying? You don't see me stop. I don't need this and that or whatever to keep going on. But I know to whoever that one person is, whoever God's word received, I got it, I got it every, each and every single day. God gave me something to say. I can't just keep it to myself. What, what would I look like? Having everything that I know and just sitting around somewhere not saying it to nobody. Damn, I got to tell somebody. <laughs> what I look like. Many people got to show them something or tell them something. But what are they doing with it? They just keeping it for themselves. Or they going to take it. They need someone to pay some money or something to give to somebody. You see what I'm saying? If that's the only way they going to share it. <laughs> or go talk to somebody if they call or something. I don't need nobody to call me to speak. I find a way to do what I need to do. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and if they receive it, good. But I told you, I do most of my work off of here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I go catch somebody. <laughs> Think word. I go catch somebody. <laughs> a lot of people doing what this one man doing right here. <laughs> God will bless them. Give them a talent. A gift for God. God will give somebody a gift. And they don't do nothing with it. They just take it and hide it. Oh, it's all for me. It ain't just for you. Everything God do for you is for somebody else. Everything God do for you is for somebody else. For you to share with somebody. Everything God ever give you. Listen to me. If God ever blessed any one of y'all, <laughs> truly, it's for somebody else. It's not just for you. Nothing nothing on, on this earth is just for you and you alone. It's say love your neighbor as yourself. If you truly love yourself, <laughs> you're going to love your neighbor. You see what I'm saying? You want If you was in a situation, would, want, wouldn't you want somebody to help you? If you was down, wouldn't you want somebody to... <laughs> Let me keep reading. <clears throat> uh, but the man... Who had received one bag of gold went off and dug a hole and dug a hole in the ground and hid and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master, after a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man, uh, the man who had received five bags of gold brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See? I gave five more. <laughs> I like that. He put it. He got saving faith. It's impossible. If God give you a gift or a talent. Just this. God will bless you, man. Give you a gift or a talent. You must do something with it. Put your faith in the action. If you, if you got saving faith now, if you just believe in God, that alone you're not gonna do nothing. I'm listen to me. Listen to me. Big difference. Uh, many people believe, but they don't got saving faith. You know what I'm saying? Your faith gonna line up with your actions. The moment God give you something, you're gonna go out and gain five more. Two more. You're gonna go gain something. You hear what I'm telling you? You're gonna put your faith in the action. You ain't just gonna be sitting around doing nothing, hiding, hiding what God gave you. Putting it in the ground. That's what I'm dead. That's yeah, that's it. Listen. A long time the master of the old servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received five beds of gold brought the other five. God gave him five five gifts. He went on to got five more of these gifts as people. You hear me? He, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He went on to got five more. <laughs> Master, he said, you entrusted me with five beds of gold. See? I gained five more. <laughs> His master replied, well done. The master. Jesus Christ replied, well done. Good and faithful servant, you have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. <laughs> the man with two beds of gold also came. Master, he said, 
You entrusted me with two beds of gold. See, I gained two more. <laughs> His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. <laughs> the man who had received one bag of gold, <clears throat> the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed, have not yet have, have, have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold. God gave this dude a talent. Listen to his response. God gave this dude a gift. I told you, God will give you a gift, a talent. That don't mean you save. Hmm. You must put your faith into action. If you got saving faith, you're going to go out and do something for God. You ain't going to just be sitting at home doing nothing. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to be doing nothing. What you doing? Nothing. Hmm. You ain't going to be doing nothing. Hmm. I hate people who say those words, man. Hmm. I, can't stand, I can't stand those words. I can't stand people like that. Hmm. What you doing? Nothing. What you, what you up to? Nothing. Hmm. And let you, listen, they, they, they tell me what they're doing. Nothing. Hmm. What you doing? Now, the people ask me, then what I'm, I'm doing everything I can. Hmm. I'm doing something. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna hear me say I ain't doing, I ain't never doing nothing. <laughs> People ask, what you doing? I ain't never gonna say I'm doing nothing. I'm doing something. <laughs> or I'm writing, I'm reading, I'm doing something. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I ain't never doing nothing. Or <laughs> I can't stand people who say that. What you doing? Nothing. And hey, let me know what you up to right there. You ain't doing nothing at all, man. <laughs> or your words speaking against you. <laughs> you testifying on yourself about what you doing. You ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Listen. Listen, listen to the words of this one person who is afraid and ain't do nothing. The man, the man who received one bag of gold, the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here's what belongs to you. <laughs> His master replied, this is a gift that God gave him. God gave him a gift, a talent, and he did nothing with it. His master replied, you wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that a harvest where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. Well, then you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers so that so that when I return, I would have received it back with interest. So take the bag of gold. <clears throat> So take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who has 10. For whoever has will, ha will be given more and they will have an abundance. But, wh but wh whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. And throw that word for this. This is how it will be now. This is how it will be. God will give you a gift or a talent. That don't mean you save. You must have saving faith. Faith without works is dead. God bless all three of these people with gifts from God to go out and work in the kingdom of God to bring in more people for God. What are you doing? What are you doing? Please don't get caught like this one man right here. God blessed him with a gift and a talent, and he did nothing with it. Because you're going to hear these words right here. This, 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 name, this ain't my story. It's the words of God. Matthew 25, verse 30. To the one person who took God's talent and did nothing with it, the Lord is going to say, and throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You don't want to be this worthless servant right here. Don't get caught. Don't get caught claiming you know God and God blessed you with a gift or a talent. He gave you a word or something to be used to go, to go help somebody and you did nothing with it. Don't ever think because you know who God is and God bless you with a talent. You're not saved. God can give you the gift of speaking in tongues, doing other things. Listen, those are just gifts. You're not saved by gifts alone. Okay? They are gifts. P people say you're not saved by your gift. Listen, okay, listen, man. I don't care how much God how much wisdom God give you. They are gifts. From God, you're not saved by your gift. If you read the Old Testament, most of the people they don't they, they, they don't they wasn't caught in speaking in tongues. They wasn't caught in 
miraculous miracles. Abraham, and you don't, you don't see one word about Abraham speaking in tongues. You, you don't see one word about Abraham having all the wisdom. You don't see one word about Abraham having faith that could move mountains. You hear me? They, they had some, some people had these things, but they, that that is not what saved you. You must have saving faith now. You hear me? Ray had the prostitute. She won't speak in tongues. She ain't had the wisdom, super wisdom. She ain't do this to do that. Oh, what did she do? She took, she, she, whew, she, when, 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 when the two spies came to the land, she took them and hid them and asked them to spare her. She put her faith in the action. You hear me? She submitted to God through the people of God. You hear me? She put her faith in the action and hid the spies. You see what I'm saying? Where people, God ain't even give her no talents, no gifts. Where you, do you see what I'm saying? People call it. People think just because God do something for you, you say no. God give you something to put it to use and to put it to practice. And what are you doing with it? If you ain't doing nothing with it, man, I'm just I'm telling you. Where it is, it is a lot of people. A lot of people who God gave a talent to, and they don't do enough with it. They don't go talk to nobody. Don't tell nobody about God. They don't go. They don't, they don't go tell nobody nothing. You see what I'm saying? They take what God gave them and hide it in the ground. Hmm. They, they gonna say what they gonna they gonna say. They gonna repeat these words right here. Hmm. They gonna repeat these words right here, man. I'm telling you. I was afraid. I went out and I hid your gold in the ground. See, here's what belong to you. You gonna, then you gonna try to come give God what belong to him. Hmm. He gonna look at you like you crazy. This ain't my words, it's his words. Argue with God. Don't say, don't do not say. For anyone who ever watched me and watching this and will watch this, if you hear, if you alive and brief and catch these words of mine, if you come under the sound of the Holy Spirit that's speaking to you and you neglect it, deny it, argue with it, and speak against it, that's on you. Do not say no one told you. I told you. So you can't say you was not told. You was not told. You was not warned because you have been. To the one person who take God's talent and do nothing with it, the Lord going to say, throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You're talking about hell. He was once a servant. Whoever this one person was, he was chosen to be a servant. He was given a talent. What would he do with it? Nothing. He felt, he just hit it. You see what I'm saying? It's, it, listen, man. As many people say, think they saved, they're not doing nothing done. You hear me? They, I'm telling you, I'm telling you for a fact. If you ain't got saving faith, because your faith going to be lining up with your actions. You say one thing, but your actions is saying a whole complete nothing. What are you doing? You're not doing nothing for God at all. You just believe. You ain't got saving faith, though. And many people going, many people will die going to hell believing. How's <laughs> that, Devon say? Read, read Matthew seven. <laughs> you think I'm lying? Read, read, read the words of God. How, how, how is it not clear to you? Is Satan putting a scale over your eyes that you can't understand this? <laughs> how is it not clear to you? Read the words of God, Matthew chapter seven. It don't get no clearer than this, man. <laughs> Matthew chapter seven, verse twenty one. Jesus said. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. These people obviously know who Jesus is. Obviously. Listen to the rest of the words. But only the one who does the will of my Father who was in heaven. Listen to the rest of the words. Many. This is Jesus speaking. Many. Not a few. Many. This is Jesus speaking. Get your Bible, turn to Matthew chapter 7, and tell me if I'm wrong or if I'm right. And if you don't agree with me, Argue with Jesus when you close your eyes. Jesus himself saying, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? I told you, God, give you God, God gave these people gifts right here. They had gifts and stuff to do. Listen, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evil doors. God will give you a gift of talent. That don't mean you say these people did nothing with their talent and gift and ended up in hell. They did nothing. They did not have saving faith. <clears throat> they did not have saving faith with deeds. 
It is possible. God will give you a talent, a gift. Uh, you see? To lead you, to lead people. Or he might even put you in charge of his people. Do not misuse what God gives you. Serve him and end up mistreating people. There's another story I was going to read in Matthew chapter 24, verses 36 through 51. 51, uh, verse 51, the Lord put one of these people, he cut them up and put them with the hypocrites. It's not the story I was going to read, but I'm going to get off here because I don't want to hold y'all too long. Where, but I'm telling you, I hope the words of God hit one of y'all and y'all pay attention because y'all don't get too much teaching like this. <laughs> All right. I'm a very special person that the Lord got showing y'all whoever watched and pay attention. You hear me? Word up. I hope the words of God hit one of y'all. And I hope that you truly understand what God's telling you. If God ever give you a gift or a talent and you're not doing nothing with it, don't find yourself in the category of that one person who God blessed and gave a talent. <laughs> gave a bag of gold to. The bag he gave a bag of gold to. It's not regular money. Not all money, silver, and gold. God himself gave a person a bag of gold, a talent from God himself. <laughs> Your Peter said, silver and gold I have not. What I do have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. You hear me? Don't, don't be found. God giving you something and you're not doing nothing for God with the gift that he gave you. You hear me? Because you, just because you, he gave you something, you're not saved because of that gift, that talent. That don't save you. You must have saving faith. Put your faith in the actions. You hear me? Your faith, God, you must have faith with the works behind it. You ain't working for God. He gave you something. You think you're secure? If you feel secure and safe and you ain't doing nothing for God, you better check yourself. <laughs> Word up. Because you should be doing something for the Lord, especially if you know who he is. It is impossible hmm. to, know, to know God our Father, to know Jesus Christ the Son, and to have the Holy Spirit and do nothing for God. It is impossible. Hmm. It's possible you can be doing nothing. You just have like the one person, but you're going to be a sound with the, with the hypocrites and the wicked. He's going to throw that person out because hmm. he did nothing. You see what I'm saying? It is truly impossible. God will give you a gift up or a talent to do something for him. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? But they never did nothing. And Jesus is going to say, I never knew these people. I'm getting off here with that, y'all. I got to get back on to read the whole of the Quran in a minute. <clears throat> but I'm getting off here with that. Y'all keep on asking God for the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Holy Spirit leading, gonna lead, leading you to Lord Jesus right now. Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be on our Father in Heaven get up out of here. Okay? <laughs> One of these days, man, I can't wait to get up out of this place. <laughs> All right, uh, I can't wait to see my grandma again, man. I miss that woman. Yeah, I can't wait to see all the people of the Lord. I can't. Jesus is gonna be the first one I want to see. First up, <laughs> I don't even know I'm gonna be able to talk anything. <laughs> Word. <laughs> but it's all good though, just to be in His presence, man. Uh, yeah. Y'all keep on praying for me. I'm gonna keep on praying for y'all too. I will see y'all again. Amen.